So, you know, proteins are made in the cytosol in cells, and then they have to be distributed to different destinations where they carry out their functions in cells. And uh, uh, there's also a very important pathway starting in the endoplasmic reticulum, over the Golgi, endosomes, cell surface, or for export out of the cell. Also, lipids have to be distributed. So many of the lipids are made in the endoplasmic reticulum, and then they move from there to different destinations, either by membrane trafficking mechanisms or by other means. And then we get the full lipid complement, which is different in the different membranes surrounding the organelles in our cells. So if you took now at the three major groups, the sphingolipid family, the glycerophospholipids, and also cholesterol. Then cholesterol. Let's start with cholesterol. So cholesterol is made in the endoplasmic reticulum. And, uh, but the concentration there is kept very low. Cholesterol, after synthesis, is moved out towards the Golgi and to the plasma membrane and to other organelles. And there is a gradient low in the endoplasmic reticulum, low in the, uh, a bit higher in the Golgi, and then uh, 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 highest in the plasma membrane. So cholesterol is synthesized in the ER and then moved out. Now, what are the functions of cholesterol? So first of all, cholesterol makes the bilayer more impermeable. It's a more robust membrane. Therefore, you have more at in the plasma membrane, which is protecting the cell. Another function is that it thickens the bilayer. The bilayer thickness increases somewhat with cholesterol in there. Now, one important question in this field is that you have now the bilayer with the lipids, and then you have the proteins embedded there. So if you look at the, 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 the proteins, the parts that are facing the bilayer are all hydrophobic. And the parts, let's say, in the alpha helix here, it's a transmembrane domain of hydrophobic amino acids. And very important is that the length of these hydrophobic domains have to match the thickness of the bilayer. If hydrophobic areas are open to the outside aqueous solution, that is not tolerated. So therefore, the bilayer can extend, as you see here, order, we become thicker to accommodate the the transmembrane domain, or the, the, the membrane domain can tilt, the protein can tilt, or it can be uh, 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 compressed to uh, uh, be uh, uh, covering the, the hydrophobic domain of the protein. Now, very important is that cholesterol depleted membranes, like the endoplasmic reticulum, they tolerate, they are deformable, and therefore they tolerate uh, uh, transmembrane domains of different lengths. But when we increase the cholesterol concentration, then this mismatching becomes a problem. And the, 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 it's much more difficult to accommodate proteins of different lengths in a cholesterol-rich uh, 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 membrane. This means that cholesterol induces protein sorting. So uh, a small, if you have a, a, a bilayer, uh, 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 that can accommodate these with cholesterol in them, then the, the short transmembrane domains will come together and be separated from the long ones. And this is a principle that is used now in the trafficking from the endoplasmic reticulum over the Golgi to the plasma membrane. So uh, the, the membrane is thickened towards the cell surface, which is the thickest, and this induces now a sorting principle uh, where uh, you start now in the endoplasmic reticulum. You put in proteins of different lengths. Uh, uh, endoplasmic reticulum membrane tolerates that. Then they come to the Golgi, where the cholesterol increases. And then uh, 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 we see the following phenomenon. Plasma membrane proteins that have to be transported further are longer in the transmembrane domains, 20 amino acids about whereas the Golgi ones, uh, as you see, are shorter. 
So you have a biophysical principle of how you uh, uh, sort uh, uh, these uh, uh, proteins uh, uh, this way. And this was a work by, by Mark Retzer and Sean Monroe in the, in the early uh, 90s. And it has now been uh, uh, confirmed uh, in many ways. Now, thus we have a biophysical principle, transmembrane domain length, cholesterol increasing in concentration, we get a sorting principle. But that, of course, is not enough. So let's now go to the sphingolipids. So the sphingolipids are made in the Golgi mainly. So uh, uh, the endoplasmic thickenum is very low in sphingolipids, that is cholesterol and glycerophospholipids. And the sphingolipids start to be made, sphingomyelin and the glycolipids are made in the Golgi. And, and uh, then increase in concentration like cholesterol towards the, the, the plasma membrane. 